All right, today we're going to do a little dopping here. This will be dopping lesson two, and I'm going to show you how to dop with super glue. Now, after having gone through dopping with wax, I can tell you this is my preferred method, and I like this stuff, the Gorilla Glue Gel. The reason why I like it is because it's a gel, and so if you've ever worked with super glue before, you know that it's really, really liquidy, and it tends to get all over your fingers. This stuff is so jello-like, you have to shake it up in the bottle. It says so in the instructions. And then tap some down into the nozzle. And to use it, it's really simple. You don't have to warm up a stone. Simply put a dab at the size of one drop into the stone here. Smooth that out here. And I take my dot here. And this is going to be a free form rose cut, so I'm not really that worried about how well it's centered. So I'm just going to be pushing this down here for about 30 seconds. I'll just hold that. It's been about 10 seconds. The key is to not try to wiggle it at all. If you want to use your transfer fixture, you can. But for something like this, I find that just holding it here for a little while works pretty good. So now, very gently, do a little twist. I'm not trying to pull it off yet. I'm not going to do the flick test yet. I'm going to wait for it to set up. But it's on there to the point where now I can just go ahead and set it here and let it cure overnight. Here are a few others that I did. And I'm going to show you how to remove these as well. This would be another opal that's going to be preformed, or I should say freeformed. This is a sunstone, and I want to show you here just how strong this is. The sunstone is on here because I need to repair a chip. Oh, I am pulling on this as hard as I can. I've got my thumb up over the girl here, and I am trying to crank on this thing. <sighs> See, I'm putting a pretty good dent in my thumb. It is not going to come off. And as you can see, there's not, not that much glue on there. Just a drop. And then to help that out a little bit, I will run a little bit of super glue right around the edge here. But once you got these on here and you've cut your stone, again, this one is chipped. I know it's chipped. It's just on here so I can repair it. But I'm going to redop it after this video here. I'll show you how to get these off. And it's really simple to do. All right, so just get a paper towel. Shop towel is fine. You're going to get it wet here, and you're going to wrap it around the stone. Like that. So you got the stone here wrapped up in a wet part of the paper towel. Next, grab your torch. A lot of uh, people will use one of those little click-on, click-off uh, butane torches. I'm using my my jewelry bench torch because I'm a jeweler by trade and I have it handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the stone tightly in my fingers with wet paper towel and put a little pressure on it. And now I'm going to heat this for about 10 seconds and it's from time within 10 seconds or so it should pop off. Not yet. So gets too hot on your fingers, you're going to need to add more water. All right, back. Got more water on the paper towel. Oh, look at that. It just came right off. Okay, well, there you go. Heat did the trick. Just need a little bit of time. As you can see here, stone is perfectly fine. In fact, in this case, it didn't leave any glue residue on it. However, if it did, Show you what to do in the case if you want to get the glue off. Okay, to remove any excess glue, there are two options. The first, if you're in a hurry, and I really only recommend this if you're in a hurry, 
and do this under magnification, but you're going to take a very sharp razor blade and you're just going to scrape the edges off here. This really only works with harder stones. And be careful when sliding past the, the tip. It's very easy to chip a pavilion or chip a grill facet or really any facet for that matter. So if you're not in a hurry, then instead we're going to use denatured alcohol or acetone. Just open up the bottle. You're going to put the stone in the bottle like so. Close it up and let that sit overnight. Then next morning, come back out, fish it out with a pair of tweezers. Trying to be careful not to, again, harm your freshly cut stone. There may at this point still be a tiny bit of residual glue left, but you can simply scrape that off with a paper towel. All right, so you know, just wipe this down here with a soft towel. And here's your stone. As you can see, there's not any glue left. Well, there's a little bit of glue left around the edges, which you can oftentimes get off with just your fingernail. And for really stubborn glue, leave it in for two days, but usually overnight is, is enough. And all the glue will simply dissolve away. Well, that's it for today. Next, I'll be cutting a few ovals. I'm going to be doing some free form cutting on some Mexican opals and on a Lightning Ridge Australian opal. Hopefully, I'll come out with something good. So stay tuned, and I'll see you next time.